What's going on guys, welcome back to your third video on HTML5 and CSS, and in this video I want to go ahead and create a folder and save it to our desktop. So if you're on a Mac or a PC, just go ahead and right click on your desktop and click on new folder, and it's going to open up there, I'll keep it in the top left, and I'm just going to go ahead and rename it. You can click on it once or right click on it if you choose to rename it. I'm just going to go ahead and call it HTML5, one word. And now I'm going to open up my text editor, I'm going to click on TextMate. And I'm going to go ahead and click on File, New, or if you know the keyboard shortcut. And let's go ahead and just save this right now. I'm going to leave this blank. Don't worry about this for this video. Let's just uh, save it to the correct directory. And we'll go ahead and call this index.html or htm. The browser is going to read it the exact same. Just make sure you don't have it as a text file or a CSS file or a JavaScript file. We want this to be our index.html file. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Okay, so inside here we should have our index.html file. Perfect. Okay, now what I want to do in this video is I kind of just want to explain or distinguish the difference between a markup language and a programming language. So I got this kind of makeshift study guide right here. So here's HTML, XHTML, and here's some of their tag structure. And uh, these are XHTML is part of HTML, HTML5, so these are all used in HTML5 as well. Here's our head tag, so all the stuff that we want our browser to recognize is going to go in here. We're not doing any programming. We're just pretty much typing font into here. There's no if-else statements. There's no loops. There's no uh, kill, die, or uh, any functions we're creating. And if this doesn't make sense right now, um, don't worry, because I imagine it's not making too much sense. But just keep in mind that XHTML is a markup language, so we're not doing any programming. And here's HTML5. Here's some of the new uh, tag structures we got for video or audio. You know, if you want to embed like a YouTube video, um, I guess back in the day before HTML5, you would just use these div tags right here to help sanction video, audio, canvas, article, or header. But um, now we have more specific HTML5 tags. And down here, here's an example of a programming language. Here's just a simple JavaScript program that I that I set a variable to one. I set a variable called 1 equal to the integer of 5 and a variable called 2 equal to the integer of 6 and I ran a simple if statement. So if variable 1 is greater than variable 2, which is true, then this will output into our browser. Variable 1 is larger than variable 2. So you can see the difference between a tag based language and a programming language. So hopefully this made sense for you guys and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video because we're actually going to start building our index.html page. Alright guys, good luck.